Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an anti-haul. Um, I don't know who started this, but I've seen a lot of big YouTubers doing it lately, so I figured I would put mine out there and see if you guys like this type of video. So the reasons that I'm not going to be buying these products are fairly wide ranging. Um, some of them are they're too expensive, some I just don't think the colors would work in my collection. Some of them I just can't see myself using at all. Um, and some of them I'm just not really a fan of the brand. So so let's go ahead and get started. So the first item that I will not be purchasing is the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. <sighs> this palette is basically my dream eyeshadow palette, I'm going to be honest. And if it wasn't $130, I would buy it pretty much in a heartbeat. I just, I can't justify spending $130 on a warm matte eyeshadow palette anymore. It just, it doesn't make sense because I have probably five or six others that are very similar, are just warm matte eyeshadow palettes that weren't $130. And I'm getting to the point now where I can't spend that much money because it's not going to get enough love in my collection at this point. The next item that I'm not going to buy is actually an entire line. It's the Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean uh, line, basically. It's the eyeshadow palette, the blush palette, and then the lipsticks. I just, I don't really like when makeup line, when makeup companies do lines based on movies. Um, I think it's a little gimmicky. I think it's a little cheap, honestly, and these colors just don't speak to me. I don't see myself reaching for them ever. I don't get excited when I look at the palettes, so I'm just going to pass on that one altogether. The next item that I will not be purchasing is the Too Faced Glitter Balm. Uh, I don't know when it's supposed to be coming out. It's not out yet. But it's basically just an all glitter palette and I just don't, it doesn't excite me. I don't use colorful glitter on my eyes. I'm not 12 so I just, I don't see myself using it at all and honestly I have an issue buying palettes that are all glitter. I don't like buying things that I'm gonna have to use other palettes in order to make it full look. Actually, the same can be said about my next item, which is actually a grouping of items. It's the, um, the, the Tarte eyeshadow palettes that are in like the round casing with like the pinwheel of different colors and they're all glitter except for like the one in the middle. Again, I don't like buying eyeshadow palettes that I have to bring other palettes into in to be able to make a new look at, or a real look out of it you know there's only so much that you're gonna be able to do with that and it just seems like such a waste of money and they have like two or three now and the colors are gorgeous but like i would just get so annoyed every time i looked at it and i would never want to use it so for that reason i'm gonna pass on that one um the next item that i will not be purchasing is the Becca Chrissy Teigen face glow palette thing. Um, I love Becca, I love Chrissy Teigen, and the colors are gorgeous, but I've watched a lot of reviews on it at this point, and they all, and I mean all of them say that the colors are too dark. And I mean, these are coming, This these reviews are coming from people that are a lot darker than me, so if they're saying that they're too dark, they're, uh, they're not going to work with this pasty white skin here. It's, um, the colors are gorgeous. I just wish that maybe they didn't use all super dark shades. Or maybe come, they come out with like two. Like how Casey Holmes came out with the highlighting palette. But she did gold and pearl versions. So that everyone would be able to use it. That would have been nice. But it's whatever. The next item is a new palette from Tarte and it's their um it's, it's just like the Tartlet and Bloom and regular Tartlet palette uh but this is called Tartlet Toasted and it's 
nothing new. It's literally just more burnt reds, oranges, browns. I don't understand why companies are still making these. Like these color, half the colors in that palette are the exact same colors that are in like the Tartlet and Bloom palette or the Tartlet palette. They just, there's nothing new to it. And I don't understand why they would even waste money and time coming out with the item because most people aren't going to look at it and go, oh, I have to have that. It's, it's new and it's fun and exciting. It's, there's nothing new about it. And I just, I wish companies would be a little more inventive with some of their warm eyeshadow palettes at this point. Because pretty much everything's been done at this point. So I wish they'd come out with something new, you know? I hope you guys liked this type of video. Definitely let me know down in the comments if you want me to keep doing them. Uh, thank you guys for watching and please subscribe before you leave.